In an alternate dimension of Avatar, we see a water tribe warship drifting through the ocean with rows of guards standing in formation on the ship deck. A brown haired woman overlooks the troops in formation and walks by them before it is revealed that it's Katara, the infamous southern water tribe princess. She greets the warriors of the tribe and announces that they are here to accompany her on her mission to rescue her brother and their prince, Sokka, who has been captured by the Avatar. Katara acknowledges that some of the warriors may be hesitant to fight alongside her, considering the water tribe tradition that only men should be trained to fight. But she says if any man is not satisfied with her command, they should step up now so they can determine who is truly the most fit to lead them. None of the warriors dare to say a word, since Katara's reputation as a waterbender prodigy is well known. She chooses to use this opportunity to boost their morale, calling on the great warriors of the south to fight and rise up like a wave, to crash down upon their enemies and bring their prince back home. The water tribe warriors cheer in response, showing that they are united behind their princess and leader, Katara.